This video is all about that magical little place where the sun doesn't shine. I have one, you have one, and although many people are a little afraid of bringing it into their sex life, we can all experience a whole lot of pleasure from it. You guessed it, I'm talking about the anus. And if you are someone who's thinking about bringing butt stuff into the bedroom, then before you even try it or try it again, I've got some information that you need to know. Because so many people try anal play and don't enjoy it the first time, simply because they don't have adequate knowledge before they give it a go. But that is about to change because I am about to share with you my five reasons that the anus is magic. Now, I have a theory on that, which is as goes the booty, so goes the body. Essentially, however you treat pleasure, stimulate, think about, consider, or relate to the anus is going to be an indicator of your body's overall relaxation, expansion, openness to pleasure, Etc. And I'm not saying that everyone should be into anal play or that everyone's gonna actually enjoy it as much as you know those folks who are like the true anal devotees, but I think the world would be a better place if we all opened up to, at least in theory, the pleasure that the anus can provide. Without further ado, here are the five reasons that I think the anus is absolutely magic. And I guarantee that no matter how much of an anal aficionado you are, there's something in here for you to learn. Number one, the anus is made up of not one but two sphincters. We often refer to the anus as a sphincter, but it actually is two. So think about these two sphincters a little bit like a security system. They're sort of like the two main gates that manage primarily the exit of waste from your body. These gates are referred to as the internal anal sphincter and the external anal sphincter. The inner one is the innermost gate and it operates automatically, meaning that you don't have to think about opening or closing it. It just does that job on its own. It's made of smooth muscle tissue, which is the kind of tissue that handles all the stuff in our body that it, the body does without us having to actively control it, like have our heart beat and pump of blood throughout the body. Its main job is to stay tightly closed to prevent feces from leaking out until it's actually time to go to the bathroom. It's not that feces is like stored right there and it's like keeping it closed, but when it is time to go, this this is the sphincter that opens up and lets your body excrete. Now the outermost gate is called the external sphincter and this one is under your mental control for the most part. It's made up of skeletal muscle, the same type of muscle that you have in your arms and your legs, the kind of muscle that you can control and just move whenever you want. This is the muscle that you would need to squeeze in order to hold in when you're ready to go to the bathroom but you're not at the toilet just yet. <laughs> the one that you relax when you are finally ready to let go. This one is the last line of defense in controlling when and where you go to the bathroom, hopefully, when everything's working correctly. Now, both sphincters work together to keep you what is known as continent, which means preventing accidental leakage, and to let you decide when it's the right time to release. When you feel the urge to go, it's because your rectum, which is the last part of your large intestine, your digestive tract, is full and starts to stretch. That stretching tells your internal sphincter to relax automatically, again, you don't have to think about it, and then it's time for you to go find the bathroom and relax your external sphincter. Now that we've got that down. Number two, our two sphincters affect our whole nervous system. The anus isn't just responsible for providing an exit. In fact, it has a much larger impact on our overall feelings of relaxation and well-being than most of us realize. In fact, extra bonus fun fact here, when we are in the womb in utero, we actually develop from the anus to the brain. Our body actually develops stages of development. We, we, we are but to mouth, essentially, in our development. That's how important our anus is. Anyway, when, back to the regularly scheduled program. When the internal and external sphincters sync up, it relaxes our nervous systems and feels deeply grounding. This is part of the reason that taking a big poop helps us to feel calm and regulated, because these nervous systems are working together to create a sense of equilibrium in the body. Do you ever notice how sometimes when you are stressed, you clench up down there? Maybe you're doing it right now. Maybe all this anus talk has got you squeezing those butt cheeks together. Try 
with me for just a moment, relaxing those muscles and see if it has an immediate effect on your entire body. Pretty cool, right? There are very few places in the body where we can have such a direct effect on multiple nervous systems. And that's because, again, the internal anal sphincter runs automatically and the external sphincter is under our conscious control. But there are not too many places in the body and not too many that we can reach with fingers or toys where we can impact both of those nervous systems at the exact same time. And this is one of the main reasons why anal sex can send us off into a whole other dimension when done right. Which brings me to number three. The anus is wired for pleasure. If you've been watching my content, thank you. If not, why not subscribe right now? Then you definitely know what I'm about to say next. Wherever there's a high concentration of nerve endings, there is a high capacity for pleasure. You see, the nerves throughout your body are not just like built for pain or pleasure or to feel hot or cold or when something is touching them or when something is not, they're, they're all built with the capacity to experience both good and negative sensations. In both instances, they just take stimulus, take what's happening, and send that information to the brain. And just the same way that a lover like tickling your arm or your neck can feel really good or can not, feel so good. The anus is exactly the same. And the anus happens to be one of the places with the most tightly packed density of nerve endings in the body. Another way of saying that more scientifically is this region is highly innervated, which makes it very sensitive to touch and other stimuli. And this is how it works. The skin around the anus and the anal canal itself have a very dense concentration of nerve endings. The density of these nerve endings and the sensitivity of this tissue is why I emphasize the importance of anal play being done the correct way. Because when you know what you're doing, it can be incredibly pleasurable. But when you don't, the downside of having all those nerve endings together is that it can cause discomfort or pain instead. And no one wants the pain in the ass. Now, to take this just one step deeper, the anus is innervated in part by something called the pudendal nerve, which again, second side fun fact on the anus, pudendal actually comes from the Latin word for shame. And this is the nerve that also innervates our genitals. In fact, this is the nerve that is responsible for carrying out sensory and motor information kind of throughout that area. It's a little more complicated than that, but let's run with it for now. And because this is the same nerve that innervates other genital structures, it feels sexually relevant and arousing to stimulate this nerve. In other words, when you stimulate the pudendal nerve through anal play, you're connecting it to other erogenous zones and other parts of the body that feel good and experience arousal and orgasm. If you are experienced in this department, you know that for both men and women and non-binary folks, because everybody's got buttholes, sticking a finger or a toy up there can be just the trick that is needed for bringing that person over the edge of orgasm. And that is essentially because of this very special nerve. All right, now related to that and something that you've got to know, I think, and is a key component of why the anus is magic and why playing with it is so great, is number four, taboo is what brings the heat. So whether you identify as kinky or not, I think most of us agree that a sense of taboo, meaning like what we're not supposed to do, can be hot in between the sheets. I think we can all also agree that there's nothing that spices up a sexual routine like a little bit of novelty. And the great thing about the anus is that it's bringing both. Because butt stuff is still perceived as taboo, this kind of stimulation can feel like a forbidden pleasure, which is actually pretty hot and brings a sense of excitement into the mix. In fact, I've got a whole video where I explain why kink can be such a powerful element in turn on and sexual dynamics. And you can check that out in the link below. Also, depending on what your sexual routine is like, there are lots of ways to include the anus in a way that gets you out of a rut or increases novelty. And it doesn't have to be just like anal sex and penetration. There are lots of ways to incorporate the anus into your sexual play, into arousal and stimulation and orgasm. And it's not just anal penetration. This is why I put together a free guide to anal massage, which I will link also below in the description of this video. Anal massage is an incredible tool that you can use for grounding the nervous system, increasing pleasure, connecting with your partner, relaxing this part of your body, which is connected to the rest of your pelvic floor. And if you do want to use it as a warm up to anal sex and anal penetration, it is by far, in my opinion, and my personal experience, the absolute best way to 
do that. Anal massage is healing, pleasurable, life-changing, connecting experience. And whether you've tried anal a bunch, whether you like it or it's your thing, whether it's not your thing, but you want to find out if it's your thing, no matter what, this guide will help you to enjoy it. All right. And on that note, number five reason that the anus is absolutely magic is that they are universal. The best part about anuses is that everybody's got one and we can all experience the magic and the pleasure that they are capable of providing. And there's so many elements of sexuality that differ between genders and orientations, but butt stuff is truly fun for everyone. You can learn what you like and apply it to your partner and vice versa. If you're straight, there's often like a disconnect in the experience. You know, if you have a penis, you'll never really know what it feels like to have a vagina, which honestly is one of the saddest things I think about the human experience. Like I just will never know what it truly feels like to have a penis. And that bums me out. But something that makes me feel better is that with anal play, it's a actual experience, sensory delight that you can actually share in with your partner. You can let it be a point of connection and shared experience between you. You can compare notes and that's kind of cool. I don't call me a geek. I, I am. There's a lot getting in the way of people enjoying their buttholes from the bad rap that the butthole gets for being associated with poop or shame or the church or whatever they said about it in organized religion or people having a negative or painful experience or people people being slightly homophobic and associating butt play with just gay men. There's a lot going on. There's a lot, a lot of reasons that people don't dive in to this particular experience. And even if that's not why you haven't tried it, maybe you just experience hemorrhoids or fissures. Even in that instance, please do not count yourself out entirely because there are things that you can do to treat them so that you no longer have to suffer and you too can start enjoying the pleasure of anal stimulation. If you agree with me that the anus is magic or you want to discover that magic for yourself, I put together that free guide on anal touch and massage. Again, that can be used for anal penetration and foreplay or just to have an amazing experience of this magical body part. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Caitlin V and I will see you here later. Thank you.